All right, here it is. Rebel ice cream, top to bottom, all the flavors except for strawberry. Sadly, it's kind of hard for us to find that. So first off, we'll say we've tried these flavors. They're amazing, but I guess we'll have any excuse we can to, to try more ice cream. But uh, at the top here, we have the vanilla. It's at the top because it has the least amount of net carbs per pint. And now it's important to note, right? Because you'll go through and you'll see net carbs on other ice creams and they will post the net carb count for just a half cup, which is only a fourth of the container, the fourth of the pint, right? Uh, but Rebel actually lists the full net carbs for the entire pint. So if you knock this baby down five grams, you're only set back five grams net carbs for the entire pint. And that's pretty awesome of, of Rebel, because take a look at this real quick. There's, according to the nutrition label, there's 10 carbs minus two fiber minus seven alcohols uh, from sugar, and that is one gram. So if you read this and they didn't tell you it was five gram net carb, you would have thought, oh, maybe it was four gram net carb. But they kind of uh, hook you up with some legit data and say well, it's more probably around 1.25 per, per serving. So you add those four together and then you get five grams net carb. So good stuff on the part of Rebel. So the ingredients are going to look relatively simple. The vanilla is kind of like the, the most basic flavor. So we'll just go off the ingredients there. Um, your main ingredient is going to be heavy cream, right? So that, that means that, you know, you don't have milk in there and that reduces the, um, the amount of carbs from sugar. Uh, the next is water. Then you have sweeteners. You have erythritol. This is that zero glycemic index, um, sweetener, sugar, alcohol, and there's seven grams in the vanilla flavor. Then you have chicory root fiber, which is two grams of that. That's a thickener slash sweetener, which um, is also called inulin, and that's also low glycemic. And then you have some egg yolks, um, a little bit of milk protein, uh, vegetable glycerin, which is also a sugar alcohol, vanilla extract in this one, and then some, some sort of gums to get you that texture. So you got the carob gum, guar gum, and then just a hint of monk fruit as the last piece of sweetener. And now the nutrition facts. Again, we were talking about the carbs already, but um, you'll notice that there's only two grams of protein, which is great on keto. And uh, you have 14 grams of fat, eight grams saturated, really, really nice looking macros. And again, about 1.25 net carbs per half cup um so that's that's really awesome uh just for comparison's sake uh i think halo top the lowest is four grams net carbs per half cup so that is 16 versus five which is crazy this stuff is crazy low and then top to bottom let's go through the flavors uh five grams net carb for the vanilla then we have chocolate that's six, as well as mint chip. Uh, butter pecan is at six. Coffee chip is at seven. Cookie dough is at seven. And then down at the bottom, the peanut butter fudge is eight grams net carb per pint. Again, it's eight grams net carbs, right? But that's for the whole pint. We said before that the lowest one that you um, would have for like a halo top or a lion's around four, which is 16. So even at the highest amount, um, you're still at half that at the lowest amount of like the halo top uh, type of ice creams. That's crazy. So yeah, that's a beautiful tower there. We're gonna go knock this thing down. Um, kind of looks a little bit like Easter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Got the nice pastel colors.
All right, let's talk a little bit about texture. Now you see that texture there? It's nice and kind of creamy. Um, this has been sitting out for a while, like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, and just the way you know the ingredients work together, um, I don't think there's like any artificial softeners or anything like that. It just takes a while to melt. Um, but don't make the mistake, I know it's tough, but don't make the mistake of not letting it sit out long enough and eating it because it tastes so much better when it gets down to this creamy consistency. So yes, I did say 30 to 40 minutes. That's crazy. I love ice cream and I have not enough patience to wait 30 to 40 minutes. There is a hack. All right, so take this thing. If it's fully frozen and it's a full uh, pint, uh, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and then take it out, stir it up, and it's gonna be perfect. Okay, Sonia here, I'm gonna chime in. So for the vanilla flavor, we think it's best described as McDonald's soft serve. When it gets that really nice soft texture, the taste and the texture remind us exactly of McDonald's soft serve. They don't skip on the vanilla. The vanilla flavor is very prominent in this this ice cream. Uh, some of the other uh, brands, you know, there are hints of vanilla. This one definitely, you taste the vanilla. It's delicious, it's creamy. Um, this is one of their, their top flavors. So for any recipe that calls for vanilla, we definitely use Rebel Vanilla. That is in, you know, your classic root beer float. We use it top, on top of any kind of desserts. Um, if you want to mix it with like your keto friendly chocolate syrup, this vanilla is the lowest carb and it, it's delicious. So it's, it's really a win-win for those who are especially trying to keep really low, low carb macros. Okay, next on the list is Rebels Mint Chip, which is six gram net carb per pint. So for this ingredient, there's some form of, you know, their base, which is vanilla and then they add in chocolate flakes but what's amazing about their chocolate flakes is they use coconut oil cocoa erythritol sunflower lechin salt dutch cocoa vanilla and monk fruit those are all super keto friendly ingredients coconut oil you know you can get some of that mct oil from that coconut oil so you can get that mct count for the day Again, chicory fiber, egg yolks, milk protein, all those last bit are, are similar to the vanilla. And then they add in natural mint flavor. So you'll see, you see those big chunks of chocolate. So you're not gonna be missing that chocolate flavor. Um, the chocolate is salty, so it really complements the overall sweetness of this ice cream. In addition, they like the vanilla, they don't skip out on the mint flavor. So the mint is very prominent, um, which you want, you know, you want, in your flavors, you want to be able to taste the flavors and you definitely can. Uh, mint chip is one of Tan's favorite. Um, I also enjoy it as well. All right, and next up we have chocolate. This is six grams net carbs per pint. And um, you know, it's, it's very similar to the other uh, ice creams in base. They just basically add Dutch cocoa to this. Um, and what you'll notice is in the taste, there is a chocolate essence there. It's not a super, super pronounced strong chocolate flavor, but it's definitely chocolate. It's just, you know, as basic chocolate as you can get. So if you are like a chocolate fudge lover and you love everything chocolate and it's like your favorite ice cream flavor in this whole world, this might or might not hit the spot for you. It's very, it's a very mild chocolatey flavor um, and it's not super sweet. So this is just, you know, it's a very good base for maybe a sundae or something like that. Um, you know, if you like chocolate, this will definitely hit, hit the spot because there's chocolate. But if you love chocolate, that you might miss a little bit of the chocolate flavor. Okay guys, next is coffee chip, which is seven gram net carb per pint. Looking at the ingredients, 
all very similar except they add coffee. Okay guys, so here it is. You see those big chocolate chips like they had in the mint chip, which are the exact same, you know, coconut oil, all the good stuff. Now, I love coffee. I mean, when I say I love it, I love it. Um, I drink the stuff black. I drink it as much of the flavor as possible. Little water, if any water. The from concentrate, the the legit stuff where I only taste the coffee. So I have pretty high standards as far as when things are supposed to taste like coffee. This ice cream is probably one of my new favorites of theirs. It tastes, it has the coffee taste. It's not lacking at all. It's delicious. It has that nice, like slight bitterness that coffee gives you, but it's paired with that sweetness. Uh, it's really good. So if you love coffee flavored, espresso flavored, whatever ice cream, or if you just love coffee, this is definitely gonna hit the spot for you. Okay, to give you a little more description to help you out, at Starbucks they have an affogato, which is espresso and ice cream. This is essentially that, but with some chocolate chip in it. It So if you like that, or if you've been missing that because it's no longer keto friendly, uh, this will hit the spot for you. All right, so this one is the butter pecan. It's six gram net carbs per pint. And um, it has a bunch of the stuff you know of, and then they add roasted pecans. So normally for butter pecan, I'm expecting that nice buttery, almost a little salty, rich ice cream. And then with like a little hint of that pecan. Uh, this one um, has a little less sweetness than um, the normal butter pecan ice cream and then a lot more pecan. So if you love pecans in general, you'll love this. Like if you love snacking on roasted pecans, you'll love this. Um, if you are looking for more of the classic butter pecan ice cream flavor, uh, it, it's a little different, right? A little less sweet and a, a little more pronounced on the pecan flavor. Okay, moving on to cookie dough, which is seven gram net carb per pint. Looking at the ingredients, all is looking pretty much the same as their other flavors. They call the chocolate chips in here chocolate instead of chocolate flakes, but it's the same thing. Uh, the only difference is the cookie dough. And the cookie dough is made from almond flour, erythritol, palm oil, water, natural flavors, baking soda, salt, sunflower lechin. So those ingredients are exactly how any of us other keto peeps would be making our cookie dough. Okay, so here are the cookie dough. These suckers are huge. They, look at, they're huge. I mean, a lot of other ice cream brands, they barely give you any cookie dough. Rebel hooks it up. And these are the best part of this ice cream. And they should be because it's cookie dough flavor. I can't tell you how good these cookie dough bites are. And they don't skimp on it. You get a ton of them in this pint. Uh, I mean, I'm one of those people that actually digs for the cookie dough and Tom gets super annoyed, but they're so good. I would buy their cookie dough by itself. If you love cookie dough ice cream, you're gonna absolutely love Red Bull's cookie dough ice cream. It's delicious. It's only seven gram net carb per pint. All right. Lastly, we have peanut butter fudge, eight grams net carbs per pint. All right, and so you see in the ingredients that um, they added peanut butter to this, and instead of the chocolate, just the Dutch cocoa, they made it more fudgy. So the fudge consists of like oil, some cocoa, sweetener in there, and, and Dutch cocoa, vanilla, etc. So should be a little more fudgy, a little more complex chocolate flavor combined with peanut butter. All right, so there it is, peanut butter fudge. And now when I'm getting my peanut butter fudge on, I want it, you know, kind of my measure is the ultimate peanut butter and fudge mix, which is Reese's, right? So that's kind of my baseline. How does it taste compared to a Reese's peanut butter cup? Yeah, so as you can see, the chocolate comes from those chips. So this is a peanut butter based ice cream with chocolate chips in it, right? It's not the other way around. Sometimes people do a chocolate ice cream with like peanut butter swirl or something like that. Nope, this is primarily peanut
peanut butter. So if you love peanut butter flavor, you're gonna absolutely love this. And the ratio is, you know, like I said, it's kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And really a bonus with these is that there's no sugar added. Uh, and there's not any sugar really. There's zero grams of sugar on all the flavors except for the ones with nuts, which shows up as less than one gram. So very negligible, great stuff. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that Rebel review and I hope you feel more confident about uh, making a choice for the best ice cream that will fit your macros and your needs for your sugar cravings. But uh, Rebel does an awesome job and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review.